ticket holders spent thousands jetting in from around the world to see the star launch her Sin City residency. But instead of watching their heroine they were left incandescent with rage. Late on Thursday, a tearful Adele told fans on Instagram she was postponing all her dates at Caesars Palace Coliseum. The set fire to the rain singer sobbed, I'm so sorry, but my show ain't ready. I'm so upset and I'm really embarrassed. We've been absolutely destroyed by delivery delays and COVID. Half my crew and team are, ill, with COVID. And it's been impossible to finish the show. But many devotees of the 33-year-old Londoner were furious. Agni Freer, from York, landed in Vegas earlier on Thursday to see Adele as part of his 50th birthday celebrations. What is happening where you live? Find out by adding your postcode or visit in your area yesterday he questioned if he'd ever listened to her again, Adele has form for this. I am so angry. Adele with all her millions should be refunding the money that we have shelled out. The electrician and pals Simon Bell, 45, and Aaron Tyson, 38, paid £4,300 for flights plus hundreds for three nights at Caesars Palace. Show tickets cost £330 each. Simon said, he'll never listen to her again. She's dead to me. Meanwhile, Alison Devine, who flew to Vegas from Florida, said, it stinks. It doesn't sound right at all. Delivery delays must have been known about days before, if not weeks. As for COVID, it all seems too convenient. The crown Adele was wearing for me, has more than slipped. Many others said they did not believe COVID and delivery delays would require her to cancel all 24 nights, postponing them for months. But after the singer released her social media apology, other followers said they feared for her well-being, pointing to a bruise-like mark on her left wrist in the video. Tickets for Adele's first live concerts in five years cost up to $685, 500 pounds, each. She was forecast to make more than 500,000 pounds a show. The megastar was forced to cancel the final two dates of her last tour, at Wembley in 2017, after damaging her vocal cords, 